Hello Windows experts, today we're gonna talk about the Windows Longhorn Never Released Edition and I'm gonna give some explanation and I'm gonna test it on the computer. So, Windows Longhorn, what is that? You never hear it probably because it's a never released operating system of Microsoft for Windows. Windows released in 2001 Windows XP and they wanted a, a successor of Windows XP. So they decided to work on a project which called First Blackcomb. Like Blackcomb, it's the code name of Windows 7. They wanted to release earlier than 2009. It's like 2004 because every operating system of Microsoft Windows is just uh, released every two years at a time. They wanted to make a modern uh, operating system. But uh, the project had a lot of technical problems, so that's why they uh, decided to reset them in 2004. Totally uh, delete all the projects and because of a lot of technical problems, it, the project was a fail. The name Windows Longhorn is just because uh, there is a gap because uh, between two uh, mountains. So you have uh, Windows XP on the timeline at 2001, Windows XP, and you have Windows Windows 7. And Windows XP is Whistler, and Windows XP is Blackcomb as code name, and it is two mountains. And between the two mountains, there is a bar called Longhorn and this is also in real life because in Canada there are two mountains and a bar and that's exactly the names like that. Uh, personally I uh, think the sounds of Windows Longhorn are the best. I don't know why they didn't release that in Windows Vista but it, they are so good. But all the features that are added in the failed project before um, before the reset of Windows Longhorn, um, the operating system had better visuals, so better. Uh, yeah, they worked on a new kind of user interface that is more modern, so like a Plex team, and that's like a glass that you also see in. Windows Vista. You have the new sidebar, that's a new feature of the operating system and that's uh, like a test bar but on the side of the screen and they wanted to bring the new features like gadgets and uh, widgets on it. Yeah, they tried a lot of with the sidebar but that is failed, it's never appeared. Uh, but at the end there were a lot of technical problems and uh, it was really unstable and uh, why it was cancelled because um, they were losing sight of the operating system so uh, yeah there were new employees Microsoft had new employees and uh, yeah it was really yeah it was a huge chaos the rest of uh, the updates of the operating system so it go further after the reset i'm gonna explain it in the windows vista video so now i'm gonna test the uh, uh, windows longhorn edition before the reset and i'm gonna find out why it was so failed and why it was so bad <laughs> Okay, we are on the Longhorn version build 4074. This is before the reset. Windows Longhorn, it is like Windows XP, but a little bit changed. You have the sidebar, and you have, yeah, just the, the start menu is just the same as uh, Windows XP, but. Uh, nothing changed in that way, but you see exactly the sidebar is and you can minimize it. Okay, let's find out what is wrong with this operating system because this was a total disaster. So as you can see, the time is really big. 
uh, we can change that I think we have uh, also a lot of uh, teams so minus XP I don't hope it takes a long of time okay I see it uh, so bugs here okay this was not fully um, established so maybe classic yeah it it is stuck in that old so I have to pick the slate one because otherwise okay this is one bug what is really annoying so um, maybe you log off oh that is one bug okay when I go to Internet Explorer you see a lot of adjustments it's like a Windows file manager in Windows XP so uh, they try to make a win an Internet Explorer in their own style with Windows Longhorn so that's really funny to see but it is a total disaster it's not everything so big but I can start paint it doesn't start I know they didn't want to release this because uh, yeah you see a lot a lot of bugs okay it's more that I don't uh, know the controls of this oh here Oh, I see. I opened uh, paint a lot. So, shit. That's not. It's just like the. Uh, yeah, Windows XP paint. But it has a lot. Yeah. They arranged. Uh, they changed a little bit the uh, interface. I'm curious about the settings because I. No, the sounds are different. So, oh, there's uh, still the Windows XP one. It looks like some Windows Vista slash Windows XP in combination. So it's really, really funny to see. I recognize some technical problems like yeah it fits uh, the program fits in the screen but not all of it so and you have not a log on screen and log on and you can't uh, adjust the uh, yeah you cannot personalize your your user interface because they uh, how you call it you can't do that because um, then a uh, bug appear so yeah I can't adjust that maybe the background as well yeah the background is changed and you see bubbles okay I understand why it is changed because yeah, it has a lot of bugs and you can't release a version with a lot of bugs. That is, yeah, then it is worse than Windows Vista. Email. Oh, then you have to log in. And I don't have internet connection, of course. Uh, cancel, cancel. Yeah, it, uh, the it, uh, operating system is slow in itself. So. Um, let's see games accessories nothing special comparable with Windows XP um, notepad yeah that's a little bit changed yeah the icons are a bit changed and I can't find the I get used to that uh, Windows 10 that all the files of the system are here in this but this is just I don't know what's above of oh here's computer this is just like what's above of uh, the file manager 
Can you also here play something? I don't know what. Why they they made of this? You can place news feed, slideshow. Oh, here is my paint. Ha, <laughs> that's uh, really funny. Sign. Synchronize. Oh, you can connect with people. So the sidebar is just like. Yeah. It's just for gadgets and widgets, as I said. Uh, I don't think yeah Windows Live Messenger, but that doesn't exist now. It is just like uh, I don't have internet connection, but still I can log into it. But it likes the classic Windows uh, Live Messenger. Um, not new games. Yeah, you have Solitaire, but that's still Windows XP. Free cell. Minesweeper with a new interface. Yeah. I think this is all we say. Uh, I see a little bit of crash, crash things. You see, I uh, saw it. Uh, the system crash at the beginning. So. Okay. And I have to activate Windows. Maybe it's that way. But they revamped it all because of the lot of bugs. I understand it. So uh, I like to use the interface. It's just like a combination of, of Windows XP and Windows Vista. So yeah, that's an yeah, yeah, no, that's a whole uh, thing about this operating system. And you see, uh, the file manager is also has its own style. But yeah, the interface is not in that good because some. Some inches are too big, or some texts are too big, so you can read it all. But I like this operating system, and uh, Windows Vista also like to use interface, but it's just so slow. And maybe because the technology was not there, uh, so that's why the operating system were too slow at that time. So yeah, it is maybe by that. This is Windows Longhorn and I hope to see you in the next video where after the reset of Windows Longhorn. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>